In the year 1919, the good citizens of the town Enterprise, Alabama, built a statue in the courtyard of their town. It was a statue of a boll weevil, you know, the little insect that uh, destroys cotton plants. And they were celebrating the fact that, in fact, this boll weevil had destroyed, wiped out the cotton crop a few years earlier. And they built the statue because the destruction of the cotton crops required them to think about what else can we do? And they started growing, diversifying, growing new crops, and they tripled their incomes on average. And they said, this is a great thing. That is a reflection of learning from adversity. I'm Joe Tai, CEO of Values Coach, and your coach for this course on the 12 Core Action Values. And you know, you've heard it said recently that uh, it's a shame to let a crisis go to waste. There is always learning in adversity, and that is the fourth cornerstone of perseverance. When you are a persevering person, you learn from your obstacles, you learn from your setbacks, you learn how to get around them. And actually four really good things can happen when bad things happen. And as we know from Harold Kushner's book, bad things do happen to good people. But in the wake of those bad things, four good things can happen. Number one, your mama was right. It's good for your character. It is precisely when we fall down that we are tested. It is precisely when we fall down that we grow in stature and in strength. And Moral Lindbergh wrote a beautiful little book called Gifts from the Sea. And in that book she said, a man is like a tree. You can only take his measure once he's fallen down. You think about the people who we most admire. Um, Nelson Mandela in prison, Martin Luther King in the Birmingham jail, Helen Keller in the darkness, uh, George Washington crossing the Delaware. The people who have the character, the strength of character that we admire, develop that strength in their times of difficulty and darkness. The second good thing that happens is this. We learn more from our failures than we do from our successes. You know, when you're successful at something, you want to pat yourself on the back and say, I did that right. And you know, very often, you know, what comes to mind to me is the dot-com millionaires who thought they had reinvented business, that making money didn't matter anymore, now it was eyeball contacts or whatever the heck they were measuring. And of course, we know now that the rules of business are pretty brutal, pretty real, uh, pretty unyielding and unforgiving. And a lot of those dot-com millionaires um, went out of business. Now, the ones who learned from their mistakes, who started new businesses without the, all the chrome and the granite, and they focused on getting the job done, uh, those are the ones who today are reinventing the internet, 2.0, 3.0, whatever point oh we're on. The ones who didn't learn aren't. Third good thing that happens is this. Very often when you fall down on your face, when the door slams in your face, that is when you open new doors. You know, it is almost a cliche, a proverb, that uh, the people who lose jobs within three or six months or nine months, whatever it takes, they're saying it was the best thing that could have happened. And why? Because that opened the door to a new job. That is what forced them to have the courage to start the business they've always been ta start talking about starting. It is precisely when the door slams in your face that new doors open. And I think the fourth and sometimes the most important and miraculous thing that happens is precisely when you're flat on your back that you meet the people who are most important to your life, to your growth, your spiritual development. Some of my pro bono work is with support groups and I love spending an evening with a support group. And you know, these are people who have real problems. They have cancer, they have head injuries, they're dealing with, struggling with addictions. These are people who really have serious problems. And yet, you see people come in to these meetings with their problems and they go away with more hope, more inspiration. They go away with more ideas. And most important, they go away with new friends. And some of the people that I've gotten to know, their best friends, their most important connections in life have come precisely because of a shared diagnosis of cancer, because they together stood in front of a room full of strangers and said, I'm Joe, I'm an alcoholic, or whatever it is. Um, and if you keep your eyes open, 
the universe will send people to you, the people you need to know, the people you need to meet at those times when it appears most hopeless. What do you do when bad things happen to good people? One important thing you can do is make sure you're asking good questions. Instead of why me, uh, ask yourself, what's good about this? Ask yourself, what can I make happen from this? Ask yourself, who do I know who's gone through this problem before? Who can give me some advice and some good suggestions? Ask yourself, if everything worked out exactly right, exactly perfect, and five years from now I look back and said, this really was the best thing that could have happened, what would it look like? Actually, when I um, lost my job and started what is now Values Coach, that's one of the exercises I went through. And it was a long haul through some roller coaster up and downs we went through. But having that vision of what would it look like is one of the things that was like a flywheel on a car. It kept giving me momentum. And now I have a vision of what it'll look like in 10 years. I don't know how we're going to get there. I really don't. But I have a very clear picture of what it will look like. One last thing before we wrap up on perseverance. I've talked about quitting and not quitting. Um, sometimes, you know, I wrote a book called Never Fear, Never Quit. And sometimes people will say to me, well, you know, you told me not to quit, so I can't quit smoking. And really ridiculous things. To say never quit doesn't mean don't stop. Sometimes when you learn what's not working, you stop. If it's not working, you stop. You try something else. It means don't, don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on the things that inspire you. Don't give up on the things that you thought about as a little kid. When I grow up, I want to. I'm Joe Tai. This is uh, Core Action Value Number 5, Perseverance. And next time, we're going to start talking about Core Action Value Number 6, Faith. Until then, never fear, never quit. Courage, perseverance. See you then.